this, the 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Live action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Trent Alexander Arnold plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jack Grealish plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And now they get the ball rolling. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Rashford. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986, runners-up in 1930, 1990, and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big... And a fantastic diving save! Delivering it. Lionel Messi's daredevil style of attacking could well make the difference here, Stuart. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Foden, unable to keep the ball. Oh, no let up, plenty of pressure.
Rashford. Shot attempted. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Who can they pick out? Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Now the pressure being exerted. Dybala. Marcos Acuna. Losing possession here. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. An awful lot of green space to run into. And a good looking ball. Can they cover up? Oh, great block. Plattered away. The ball back with England now. Kane. Foden. Harry Kane waits. Corner given. Alexander Arnold. Oh, great play. Body on the line. Messi. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to it. Now the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And in the end, no damage done. Well, as you can see, England have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. And they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Delivered into the area here. And I think the threat has been averted. Phil Foden. Read it superbly to take back possession. Rashford. Messi. He's in here. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Henderson. And Rashford. Henderson has it. Foden, well, able to close down the shot. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And fine goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. Speculative effort here. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Alvarez. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. The danger here as he runs at them. Marcos Acuna. And the penalty has been given here. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though.
This to open the scoring here. And a timely penalty save. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Lionel Messi. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty, and it was a yellow card. Can he make it 1-0? And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, as you can see, this has been a fairly open contest. Chances at both ends, plenty of good attack in play, and it's been really entertaining. Plenty of support here. Can he convert? And he's gone for power, so close to finding the net. Henderson, now Harry Kane, Grealish, it's not a bad ball, and an effective clearance, Marcos Acuna, Lionel Messi, will it be, well kept out, Fired over by Messi. Sterling. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Di Maria. Alvarez. It's with Dybala. Can they create something from here? Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to make it 1 0. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Very quick thinking there. They've lost it. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Marcos Acuna. Paulo Dybala waiting. Just couldn't capitalise there. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? But nothing comes of it. Well, that challenge will mean the referee has to act. What's she going to do? 
Well, a yellow card is the decision. Difficult one for the referee, Stuart. Yeah, but like the referee, I would give him the benefit of the doubt. But it's a big call, mind you. Well, far from the perfect effort, you've got to say. Well, he's got that all wrong, hasn't he? That's a terrible effort. Great pressure to win the ball back. He takes aim. Oh, did so well to deny him. Nicely timed tackle. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Firing it towards goal. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Really good interception. Messi. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Henderson. And now Sterling. This could square the game. Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Number eight, Jordan Henderson. Alvarez. Well, spot on with that challenge. And we've entered the final five minutes. Plenty of support here. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. And it went sailing over the crossbar. Not a moment he'll want to remember. Henderson. Walker now. Kane Alexander Arnold oh he's left his marker for dead targets available cross comes in happy to take on the shot well tremendous block and with that the attack fizzles out is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up so away they go again the first period of extra time and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this looking forward to it and that'll be England's throw-in. Alexander-Arnold. Harry Kane. Foden. On to Alexander-Arnold. On to Messi. Here's Alvarez, back with Martinez. 
And a chance to whip it in here. The clearance wasn't decisive. He's got it for the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Now well, Molina. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Kane, moving it forward. Kane. Foden. Textbook defending inside the box. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, they're... Kane! Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. Goal! And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Lionel Messi. Well, the pass not finding its target. Tension building still level. Counter attacking very much an option. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Kane. Can he put them in front? trophy at this stage of the final a huge moment well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive but should the keeper be beaten at his near post i don't think so he really needs to do better in those situations Goal! well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Foden, and blocked for now, Rashford! Well, what an opportunity squandered, far too easy for the keeper. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And there goes the final whistle. England have won the World Cup for the first time since 1966. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserve it.
England, the world champions. Well, what a scene to witness. After 56 years of hurt, England need feel the pain no more. Well, what a night for the players, the coaching staff, and of course the fans who have roared England on tonight. What a night this is for English football.